In Sage 50 and Peachtree, all inventory related transactions revolve around the item ID. That's the unique identifier that's required for every item that you set up. Since it's the unique identifier, it's always what you're going to use for data entry, whether you're in maintain inventory items or purchase orders or sales orders, invoices or what, whatever. You are locked into that for data entry, but you can print other fields on your forms if you want. For example, if you don't want your item ID to print on your purchase orders, you could print the part number field instead or the UPC SKU number. Those are your, your two other options. Doing that is really simple. For example, on a purchase order, you may want your supplier's part number to print. So if we go up here to preview the form, and it's the same when you're printing it, there's an option right here whether you want to replace the item ID with do not replace, of course you're going to print the ID, replace it with UPC SKU, or replace it with part number. So let's preview that. And you can see now that we're getting the part number instead of the item ID on our forms. Now that's great, it's really simple, but if you know that you're always going to want to print one of the other fields on your forms and don't want to you know, run the risk of someone forgetting to, to change that setting or, or uh, changing it back when, when you don't want them to. You can modify your forms also so that it will always use the, the other field. That's pretty simple too. Um, not quite as straightforward, but if you go to reports and forms, forms, and then I'm going to use purchase order again as my example, and just start with the form you want to customize. Then down here in the line item area, you can either double click or you can right click and choose add remove columns or properties. They'll all take you to this same window right here. And you can see item ID is the field that's currently on there. We can add a field. See the columns tab is already selected. We're going to choose other fields for the field type. And there's our part number and UPC SKU number is also in that list. I'm going to say OK. We'll use the move up button to bring it up into the right position. And then since we know 1.6 is the right width to keep everything on track, I'll change that. And we'll change the tight alignment to center to match the original. And then we can remove the old field. And we're left with the new field. We click OK. And you can see the changes updated right there. Now it won't matter what is chosen when you print your forms because it's always going to use this field that we've selected. Now you can save your form. Just click the Save button. Give it a new name. Click Save and then you'll always have that form in your list. Works the exact same way for sales orders, purchase orders, and the other forms that, that use that item ID number.